Okay, we're out here with our 1898 Craig today, full length rifle. I'm using the Remington Corlock bullet, standard uh, load Remington produces. I prefer to go with a 220 round nose like the military, but I'm going to have to reload that. Reloading components in it are kind of hard to find, they're still made. <coughs> But we'll get into that more when we go into reloading. And we're going to do a little shooting at 100 yards. Magazine cut off again. Okay, take a look through the spotting scope, see where we're at. Alright, we're slightly low. So what I'm gonna do, like most of these old guns, oh, come on, is adjust my point aim, aim it hair higher. It's only a couple inches. And we'll try to get it in the black. Action on this gun is super smooth. Okay, let's see what we did. Alright, this is our uh, long barrel full stock military gun with the Remington Power Point ammo. We were shooting a tad bit low, so I adjusted my sight picture, got it up, and it would hit in there. Okay, and it didn't quite, uh, you know, the Remington ammo. You had to more or less shoot point of aim or get it up a little higher. Using a 6 o'clock position, that's where it was hitting. <clears throat> when I put the Remington ammo in the short barrel gun, uh, if you look at the short barrel review, it hit point of aim. But then I had Winchester PowerPoint ammo, uh, or Winchester ammo in 3040 Craig. 
and when I shot it in the carbine it shot low. So for the hell of it I went and took the Winchester ammo and this is our target here is all the Winchester ammo. <clears throat> Again this is with the long barrel gun. My first shot was high and to the left. Now the carbine had the exact reverse. It shot the Remington at the point of aim and it shot the Winchester low. So the guns are sensitive to ammo. So to adjust for it, I aimed over here and got one in the black. Then as the barrel heated up, the shots moved to the uh, right. Actually it was shooting to the left. As the barrel heated up, the point of impact started to go off. So then, I, you know, because when I was aiming here, I was getting them in the black. So as that went, I ended up to where I was aiming here at a six o'clock position, hitting the bullseye consistently. And then it started to drop down as it heated up some more after like 15 rounds. Now it moved all the way to the right and started lowering the point of impact. So I had to readjust my sight picture again. But if you got somebody spotting for you, as you could see, I kept these things right, right on the bull. They're accurate guns. Uh, with a hand load or a different style bullet, you got to remember they were designed to use a round nose 220 grain bullet and these spire point 180 grains, which is a standard commercial load, are excellent enough in accuracy. I've seen people get accuracy like this with a 150 grain bullet also in the 3040 Craig. But more on that when we go into reloading and we'll try different bullets and different things. But the old gun, the old military gun uncut, still shoots very well.